All right, here are some example problems for identifying segments within triangles. Okay, so we need to identify which of these things, uh, each of these lines and each of these triangles are. Perpendicular bisector, angle bisector, altitude, median, and it's possible that it is none of these, right? Um, a perpendicular bisector goes through the midpoint of one of the sides and is perpendicular to that side. Angle bisector splits an angle in half. An altitude uh, goes through a vertex and is uh, perpendicular to the opposite side. Um, and a median goes through a vertex and the midpoint of the opposite side. So we got to identify each one of these. And it's always A, B. That's an important thing. Because um, we can't just pick any line that we see. Sometimes it'll, it'll seem like we should choose one line, but it's the line that goes from A to B. So in this case, <clears throat> number five here that we're starting on, um, AB is this line right here. It's actually not part of the triangle. <clears throat> it's kind of hard to tell what's going on here, but you can tell by these dashed lines that the triangle I'll uh, outline in red. Obviously this side, that side, and then this is the triangle. Okay, so AB goes through a vertex, okay, A, and uh, it is, we see here, it's perpendicular to um, the sort of the side that's on the bottom right now. So it's perpendicular to one side, it goes through a vertex, that makes it an altitude. And I'm just going to abbreviate here, altitude. Okay? Number six also goes through a vertex, and, it go, and point B um, uh, on that line is the midpoint of this other side. We know that because of these little congruent marks. So if it goes through a vertex and the midpoint of another side, it's a median. Okay? <clears throat> Number seven, uh, let's see, doesn't go through a vertex. Okay? Um, a is right there, B is right there. Doesn't go through a vertex, doesn't go through a median and it doesn't go through a midpoint. Um, it's not perpendicular. Um, and so it doesn't match any of those. So this is none. OK? Number eight, <clears throat> uh, doesn't go through a vertex, uh, but it does go through the midpoint. We know because, again, because of these congruent marks. Oh, and, and going back to number seven, the reason that's not a midpoint, it does have congruent marks, but they're not the same. So that means those two little segment parts of that side are not congruent. And number eight, they are, because these are each single little notches, which says those are congruent. So A is the midpoint, and it's perpendicular. So that makes it the perpendicular bisector. OK. Number nine, um, let's see, it goes through a vertex, right? And we have some congruent angles, right? If it splits an angle into two congruent angles, that makes it an angle bisector. OK? Um, and number 10, let's see. A is a vertex. B is also a vertex. Um, <clears throat> and more importantly, the AB is perpendicular to another side. This time, <clears throat> excuse me, AB is actually part of the triangle, but that that's OK. There's, nothing, there's no rule against that. <clears throat> it goes through a vertex, and it's perpendicular to the opposite side, so it's an altitude. OK? So hopefully that helps. Good luck on the homework.